Not really a big fan of this connector. Especially the way it looks. I use XT90s, not XT60s. So we're going to make this XT60 go away and put on an XT90. Dealing with a battery, always do one side at a time. Need about three eighths of an inch or so. Some people say this flux in there, don't bother using flux in some of your solders. I say flux is your friend. Makes your life much easier. I have my track power soldering station set to about 775 ish, give or take. Electrical silver bearing lead free. That's what I choose to use. Some people choose different. set something up and I'll be right back okay when I'm soldering my connectors I like to put the male and female ends together just in case you accidentally heat this up a little too much and it wants to move around this way it'll keep it from moving around pay attention to your negative and positive make sure if you're using shrink tube to put that on first I have an actual cover for the end of the connectors that goes on so make sure that goes on first that we don't have to unsolder things I'll set up I put a little more flux in there I prep the inside it's a pretty thick wire it's a pretty thick connector I'm going to get some super heat on there. Yeah, smoky. You'll see the solder actually suck down inside of the connection when it's starting to really take. And there it goes. very good keep the tip of your soldering iron clean wet sponge also your friend now since I can't exactly uh, clip this the right way in order to keep these two connections from making contact once I got this other one open I'm just gonna pop this on this side like that in the opposite direction. That way I can still work on here. Alright, I went ahead and skipped ahead a little bit. Got the old connector completely off. Now I'm going to put the other side back on.
just in case you're wondering about the setup I got going on here. It's called the Jigs Up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it comes these couple of pieces, a couple of other extra alligator clips, very handy. It's probably a little bit too much, but that's alright. See, I almost forgot to put the connector on. Do not let the wires touch each other. Sizzle, sizzle. Not quite hard enough yet. A little more solder on there. Probably turn the heat up on my soldering iron just a little bit, make my life a little bit easier. 800, probably make it go a little quicker. Having a little patience doesn't hurt either. There it goes. And it's in. Cool it down before you touch it. There you go, brand new connector, looking nice. Take it easy guys, hope that uh, helped you something.